you're eating like this, try to think of that kind of a meal too, where uh, God gives us Himself. You've you've never heard that before? No, no, I've heard that Okay, and uh, think of that, and think of uh, how you guys might uh, someday want to receive the Lord's Supper too, even as you love to eat food. Mm. Uh, yeah, you do, right? Dear Lord God, okay. Heavenly Father, Almighty Savior. We thank you for your love and your grace, which we don't deserve. Help us to appreciate it every single day. We appreciate your wonderful blessings, like the food we're about to eat, the volunteers who have come to, to feed us as they have prepared the meal. We thank you for all the volunteers uh, that are here at The Rock helping out. Also the people that give from their hearts their donations to keep The Rock going. Uh, we thank you because you're the one that has stirred the hearts of these people to respond to your love with love. And we thank you also for how you are the bread of life and you feed us daily uh, through your word. Uh, we have to admit, Lord, that we have not, though, enjoyed your word daily. At times we have neglected your word. Forgive us for Jesus' sake. Forgive us because his blood has covered all of our sins. Help us in response to uh, be fed with your word on a regular daily basis. Lead us to worship so that we can worship with other Christians and hear your word there as well. Continue, dear Lord, then to feed us. Feed us spiritually, feed us physically as you're about to do. And we thank you. To you be the glory. And dear Savior, we now ask you to be our guest. Come, Come Lord Jesus, be our guest. And let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. Great. Come on up and right. it shows you're supportive time. of each other, also supportive of veterans, right? Uh, and like you said, um, we're going to be observing Veterans Day tomorrow, and then on Saturday is Veterans Day, so this has something to do with that. But I want to go from this, a pledge, to a creed. A creed. What were you going to say about this Pledge of well, Allegiance, I, I, first of all? I, well, I, I don't understand. Why does it have to be one nation under God? Well, I think this was a pledge meant for the United States, the United States. But now, you, you, Isaiah, you did a nice job of moving me, though, from one place to another. And the other place that I want to go to is when we uh, express our unity with other people who and believe say, what the Bible uh, says and speak together a creed. At first, it wasn't fully like what you're going to have here. Could you scroll down? Uh, but it uh, was um, maybe an abbreviated version of this, and then things were added from the Bible. But everything in this creed, the Apostles' Creed, is found in the Bible, but not word for word like this one right after Dear Lord another. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for reminding us of all that you have done for us as we have talked about and discussed and learned more about the creed, uh, which summarizes uh, basic truths that are found in your word. We believe in God the Father. We believe in you, God the Son. We believe in you, God the Holy Spirit. Help us to acknowledge and confess you before others as we share how you, out of love, saved us. We pray, dear Lord, that you would also be with those in Texas who have suffered so greatly because of the deaths of many in, in that church and, and families. Uh, as we confess that we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting, uh, we know that those who believe have eternal life, and you take them to be with you forever in heaven. We pray, Lord, that you comfort uh, the survivors with such truths of your word. Also, as we've talked about people that are sick and hurting, especially those who are elderly, like the grandparents that were mentioned, we pray that you help them, heal them according to your grace and plan for them. We pray that you give them strength and faith to bear up under their trials, always giving you glory through their suffering. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray, and also we pray the Lord's Prayer, which he taught us, and it's up on the screen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.